Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blood out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in a secret heart. Purge me with hypus, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that have have broken rejoice hide your face from my sins and blot out all your iniquities create in me a clean heart O God and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit this is my this then I will teach transgressions your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise, for you will delight will not you will not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You will not be pleased with burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then will you delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Amen. Shalom. 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 I keep saying amen. Let's go to uh, 53, shall we? Fifth, uh, Psalms 53. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt, doing abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. God looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God, they have all fallen away. Together they uh, they have become corrupt. There is none who does good, not even one. <laughs> have those who work evil no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they are bred? And do not call upon God. There they are in great terror. Where there is no terror. For God scatters the bones of him who encamps against you. You put them to shame. For God has rejected them. Oh that salvation for Israel would come out to Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people. Let Jacob rejoice. Let Israel be glad. Shalom. 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 Alright. So let's go on to. Uh, Psalms 54. O oh God. Save me by your name. And vindicate me by your might. O oh God. Hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. They do not set God before themselves. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. He will return the enemy to uh, the, he will return the evil to my enemies in your faithfulness. Put an end to them. With free, with a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you and will give thanks to your name. 
O God, O Lord, for it is good, for he has delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Shalom, shalom, shalom. So it's about, it's basically about defeating enemies, allowing God to defeat your enemies. Trusting in God and allowing Him to take care of the things that He can take care of. And you shouldn't take care of those things. Allow God to take care of your enemies. Allow God to take care of the people who come against you. Remember, if you're walking right with God and you're a prophet or pastor or you're just a, a Christ follower and you're a saint of God, you you are, are going to be protected, okay? So you, you got to let God fight your battles, you know, let him fight the battles. Say, God, I know this person or I know that person is coming after me or doing this to me, but Lord... I, I give it to you. I put it in your hands and I know that you're going to remove this person from my life or you're going to stop this person from doing what they're doing and they're going to repent for the things that they're doing. You're going to shame them or you're going to allow them to die. Okay, some people uh, don't get it and they have to be and God has to take them out because if he doesn't, they will hurt you or destroy you in your in your family. Okay, so but we give them opportunity to... um you know, to, to uh, repent and, and stop the things that they're doing, okay? So, uh, we just want to pray right now, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be done. So, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for day two of fasting and praying with just water and holy oil. That's it. And, Lord, it's going good so far, Lord. Um, we're halfway through the day, and I'm not hungry yet. Uh, we're reading the Word of God, and we're praying. That is our food. That is our food, and uh, I, I see it because I, I, I like to eat, Lord, and uh, and the last day and a half I haven't eaten anything, and just just you know just drinking water and holy oil. That's it, and I'm getting through, and I'm fine. I'm able to talk and speak right. I'm able to walk right. I'm able to live right. I'm able to do the things that I want to do, and Lord, so eating if he, eating is not you know everything. <laughs> Um, but uh, but fasting and praying, Lord, so you can move for us. You can move financially for us. You can move um, health-wise for us. You can move in our family and friends, Lord. Uh, we, you can move uh, to bring a favor and blessings to us, Lord. And we thank you for that. And we thank that everybody listening right now that took the time out to, to listen to this, Lord, you bless them and you bless me and you favor them and you favor me. Everything you do good for them, you do it for me, Lord. <laughs> Uh, and everything you do for me, you do it for them. And as uh, long as they're saints, and as long as they're walking right, and they're trusting in you, Lord, and they put everything up to you, Lord, we give you the glory, and we give you the praise, Lord, and we put it all in your hands. And everything that we did today, that Lord, that it wasn't uh, heavenly, it wasn't godly, and then it upset you or made you frustrated, Lord, we repent for those sins right now, and uh, we ask that you, uh, you know, heal us and, and uh, forgive us and, and wash us clean with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit. And uh, we just continue on today uh, brand new, fresh, like we just jump out the shower. <laughs> and that's how it is when you repent your sins with your heart and when you're clean. You're heavenly clean. You're sinless. And that's what we need to be every day, all day. And that's why we ask for forgiveness all the time. Every time. Uh, morning, noon, night, afternoon, in my car, I ask for forgiveness, Lord, because, Lord, I'm not perfect. And I make mistakes. And I need to be sinless in your eyes all times. So thank you, Lord. And thank you for doing that for me. And uh, thank you for doing that for the subscribers. And thank you, Lord, that you're about to set the Vietnamese dong off. And you're going to allow it to be able to help us, Lord. Lord, and be able to take care of our family and friends and give us monetary uh, means that we need. And I thank you for the Vietnamese dong. I thank you for the racket dinar. The, 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 and I thank you for all the other currencies that you're going to make move. And I thank you for all the investments and the projects, fundings, and everything else that you're going to bring into our life. All the businesses and stocks that we're going to be doing and, and the charity work and bringing people to Christ and bring, and praying for people and loving people in the, in the right godly way. And I thank you, Lord, that very soon 
soon things are going to happen so fast that we can't even believe that we were complaining about all types of things in the in the past and and um and we're going to be so happy that it's that things are moving in a fast godly way and we're going to be uh so happy that we're in our new life fulfilling our destiny and uh, reaching our goals for you jesus christ thank you father uh for everything that you do and I cover and I and I cover this prayer in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Holy Spirit. Shalom.